During the last two years, used car prices have skyrocketed out of control, but yet, BMW has remained relatively stable in the used car market. Why is that? Why are used BMWs so cheap? Let's get into it now. Life's too short to drive boring cars. So I was recently browsing the classifieds here locally. I know cars, for example, like the BMW 750, like we have parked right here, literally BMW's flagship car, cost over $120,000 to $130,000 brand new. And of course, this car here sitting I can find lots of these cars all over, five years of age, all over the classifieds for as little as $40,000. In other words, they've lost two thirds of the original value in the first five years. That's tremendous. How about these cars right here? Here we have a 528i. This is pretty garden variety, fairly generic. We have a turbo four cylinder engine tucked under the hood of this mid-sized BMW. These don't hold their value particularly well. And these ones as well, lose as much as 62% of their original value in the first five years. How about the three series cars like this? We have a 330, this is also a four cylinder turbo engine, makes 255 horsepower. Certainly a very popular model within the BMW lineup. This one's X-Drive, so it comes with all wheel drive. So it seems like a lot of bang for your buck. These cars are as low as 55% off of their original value if you look for a car similar to this three series, it's five years of age. And X5s like we see right here are also heavy hitters in terms of overall depreciation. You can expect to lose probably close to 60% on its original value in five years is gone up in smoke. So then it begs the question if all these great, cool, high performance luxury vehicles go for so cheap on the used car market, what is actually causing that weird phenomenon? Well, there's a bunch of reasons for that. So the first reason is what's tucked behind those doors and it's the fear, it's the fear of the unknown. That's right, it's literally fear. After the five years is up and the warranty is long gone and the ship has sailed of these beautiful luxury cars that have some of the best performance and top notch innovation, tucked under those hoods that many people are scared of what's in store. It's not that BMWs are particularly unreliable, it's just that when they break, they get very, very expensive. And some of the things that historically some customers of BMWs are familiar with are coolant leaks stemming from electric water pumps, thermostats, radiators, and all kinds of plastic pipes and fittings that carry that coolant. They're very expensive, $150, $200, $300 a stick, a hose to carry that coolant. And when they start cracking because of some of the problems in the heating and cooling cycles, it gets very, very expensive. And you're literally at the dealer's mercy when it's time to fix those parts. Oil leaks are another common phenomenon from the pan and all kinds of other different parts. Now, all of the modern day BMWs are pretty much turbocharged, so that's going to be another bone of contention for a lot of owners. Not that turbocharging itself is inherently unreliable, but it adds another stress point and another leak point. And that definitely adds up to dollars out of the pocket when it fails. We also can't forget about all the technology buried within these vehicles. This is the latest and the greatest X7. This does not come cheap, and there's every piece of technology that BMW knows is tucked under there. To add to that, once a vehicle gets up to 60, 70, 80,000 miles, that's when all these parts start to crumble and leak and break. That's coincidentally at that point where you're at the three, four, five years of age mark. So another reason why they're so cheap on the used car market is a lot of people are catching up to the ways and BMW, light plastic materials are great when they're new. They snap together quick and easy, those quick connects, everything's great that way. The problem is when it gets used and old, that's when it starts to leak and cause all kinds of problems. And the reality is BMW is heavily invested in 3D printing, which is essentially the creation of a lot of plastic parts because of 3D printing and lots of extruded plastic components just to keep putting their cars together. That in itself are more reasons why people are getting nervous in buying a used BMW. Of course, now the used car prices go down. Way too much plastic in the BMW hood right here. You've got, okay, plastic intake runners and manifolds, lots of plastic like this, which is okay. Of course, plastic reservoirs for your coolant. And they have these snap together fittings, plastic, they break, they crack, they leak. And that goes all throughout the whole system. Lots of plastic, plastic fantastic in the BMW world. Third reason has to do with, look at all these beautiful cars. Now we know this year has been very different with the shortages that we've seen all over the industry. But the reality is we're still sort of playing catch up with the idea that BMW is huge on leasing opportunities, lots of incentives, and people often took the BMW on a lease because they were scared to own it outright. People really did believe that you take it, drive it for three years, move it along, great process. 
And a lot of people just loved it that way. They felt more secure and not worried as much about when BMWs start to break down, which is at the four, five, six year mark. Once those cars start trickling back into the market, there's then ex an excessive amount of used BMWs and it's really all about supply and demand. Of course, supply is high, demand is relatively soft, then of course prices drop down and that's been a phenomenon throughout this last year. I'll go another step further. During this last year, there was lots of car brands you could not get a car from. For example, like Toyota or Lexus were difficult. But BMW was actually in fact one of those that always had a bunch of vehicles on the lot. Used, new, there was always opportunities. And again, supply and demand. Prices go down when you have too much supply. Another reason why this is actually happening is BMW is one of those brands that's constantly innovating. Of course, you get into one car, three, four years later, they've got a newer version that's much, much better and more interesting to drive. I'll give you a few examples of why people are constantly moving, flipping the old one and then buying the new one. And of course, what that does, of course, is drives prices down on the older versions. But here's a couple of examples. That's the older M3, for example. And you can tell strictly by the front end of this particular vehicle, this one's equipped with the S55 engine right there. And then we have the newest M3 right here. You'll notice what gives this one away is that front grill right there. It's very prominent and pronounced. And if you want the latest and greatest, this is in fact what you're going to get in the M3 competition right there. Different hood, different headlights, different wheels, beautiful little competition badging, and as well, lots of gloss finishing and carbon fiber roof to boot. Another example, old BMW X5 right there new BMW X5 right here, older 3 Series BMW right there, and we have a newer 3 Series BMW right here. You'll notice the grille change and the different headlights. So essentially, who doesn't want a vehicle that has more technology, brighter headlights, faster, better performing? Of course, it also has better fuel economy and just doesn't look so damn old on the roadway. Most people do. That's why the older BMWs don't hold their value nearly as much. So you get five, six years of age, people are done with it. That's already old news. But the bottom line is people just don't like to get greased. They like to have control of their finances. And today, in today's day and age, it's even more important that they have to watch the dollars. Of course, a used BMW does also conversely represent a phenomenal deal on the used car market. So somebody looking at getting into a slightly used BMW and they could possibly wrench on their own or they have a great access to parts and labor. The fact that they depreciate like a rock falling into the lake isn't all bad. That's only bad for the new owners. The used owners can find themselves some real gems. For example, I'll give you a real nice car that you can get. Look at the beauty we have in front of us right here. You can get an M5 carbon fiber wing, carbon fiber roof. Of course, you got matte black finishing on this car. It is outstanding. You get the latest and greatest headlights. Of course, you get the sharper grill on these newer cars. Sharp pointed hoods, very, very aggressive. Big wheels and a great rocker panel that's very, very sharp and pronounced. Down around the back, you have a set of quad exhaust tips right there. And the interior is quite nice too. Deep bolstered seats, cooled, heated, and literally every technology you can get in BMW is splattered all over this beautiful new M5. So the bottom line, while it hurts some, it can actually be a real win for others. But know this, regardless of what the story is, BMWs on the used car market drop like they're going out of style. And if you want to know another brand that also potentially drops like it's going out of style is right there, Jaguars. Why are they so cheap on the used car market as well? Great options there too. Hope to see each and every one of you. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.